Taurus, a beautiful soul. How are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome. Welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, in this reading, we will be pulling some messages that will help uncover any abundance blocks you might be experiencing at this time, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below. Along with my husband, if you haven't yet, check him out. He is over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We will be pulling a final message from the universe. Okay, so recent past. Um, interesting because there could have been a new proposal that has come forward in your life or this like you're working towards a new business. But either way, there is this energetic feeling of confidence and this energetic feeling of action. So action and confidence together is screams the queen of wands. Just someone that is someone that is very much willing to get in there, get their hands dirty, go for it. And we feel like this is the Taurus energy of just when you want to go do something, you go and do it. However, we feel like there is a little bit of pessimism around this. Now, the only reason why is because of where your focus is. So we want to remind you, when you are feeling this energetic impulse to go and do something, it's always when you, meet, when you go upstairs and you think about um, other things or um, negative things around this, that's going to be when resistance sets in. And when we feel resistance, then we become resistance in other things. So when you're feeling the energy of spirit flowing through you and you feel guided and an impulse to do something, look into it a little bit, write it down at least, write it down, be like, okay, here's my, you know, check into list, right? And you can look into it at a later date. That'll keep the energy flowing. Another thing that's showing up here is that you see how she is looking at the cups that are empty and then she's missing the cup that is nice and full. So whenever you are feeling um, a high energy output and you're feeling ready and compelled to take action on something that you see you want to change in your life, uh, a lot of the times when we start that journey, we start to realize more of the things that we are lacking in. So it's almost like I'm here, I want to be here and I'm realizing I have to take care of all this stuff to get here. Then we kind of feel like, oh, I'm kind of tired. I'm overwhelmed. That seems like a long journey. It's not as long as you think, my brothers and sisters. It's not as long as you think. So it may seem daunting, but just stay focused on the prize. And the prize should be to stay grounded and be able to balance work, life, right? Home, kids, health, right? There's a nice healthy balance. And when we are imbalanced, everything is synergistic. There's no extras. The name of the game right now is to really make sure there's no extras Taurus in your life. If you're thinking, well, if I do this and if I do this, extras, you know what you've got to do. Now for me, because I love animals, I can relate my, and I know dogs more than anything ever. I know all the energies of all the different dog breeds. And so if you have something that you can tune into to feel the energy, because I know that when I feel the energy of the Doberman, it just speaks to my soul. I can connect Feel the energy of a Doberman and I know who I am in life. I know what the actions I'm supposed to take are. Now, we're not always going to all going to be connected to dogs, but if there's a particular animal that you connect with and vib vibrate with, then you would understand it would kind of put things when you find the right animal, it will make you realize what is most important for you. What, what are you, what are you saying, you know, allowing in that is extra, you know, well, maybe it could be this. Well, maybe it could be this. No maybes, right? It's either, it's either this or it's this, right? What is important for you is going to align with you. So maybe there's an animal that you can connect with. Again, I just know dog breeds. So I know that if I'm thinking about a certain dog breed, I know, you know what I mean? Like I can understand the energy coming from that animal and then I can feel that energy and then it makes it, it enforces, allows me to behave in a certain way if I'm feeling that energy because whatever energy you focus on, you mirror and mimic it. The Doberman, I can mirror and mimic and I know exactly what I'm supposed to do in life. It's like, oh, everything is... I know what I'm supposed to do, right? Um, and if you know, have Dobermans, you kind of know. So sometimes um, a great way to uh, know ourselves better is to get out of our day-to-day -day environments. Plan a vacation, get out of town, uh, you know, have a staycation, go rent an Airbnb in your local city, but um, planning a vacation. Also, you might be called to move or you might be feeling that call to get out and to try something new. Um, and, um, and, and maybe you're worried about this. Maybe you're concerned about, you know, this, this move or whatever. You don't need to be concerned about it. Um, but, 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 but be open to it, right? Be curious, not closed off. Be curious, not closed off. If something's in your awareness, put a little time and attention into it. It's amazing what shows up, right? If some, if the, 
if you've been wanting to travel, let's say, and then, an, and then a place shows up in your awareness, write it down, look into it, investigate it, take some notes. What's this place all about? What are fun, watch YouTube videos, fun places to go in this city. You know what I mean? Fun things to do. Feel the energy of it. Then you will understand, ah, this energy feels like this. That seems cool. That seems exciting. That seems like something I want to do. Right. And it's a good practice actually, by the way, of, of getting out of this four of cups where we think that everything is going wrong, but really we just need to look to the other. We just need to look somewhere else and we'll find our answers. That's kind of another message of the plan of vacation in the four of cups. It's like, sometimes we're so used to looking at one place, you know, one job, one business, one outcome, one opportunity, we miss so much. So getting out of your environment for like a weekend or so, that really, really helps us kind of establish a stronger um, awareness in what we know, right? And what we know, clarity. Ah, I have received the contrast. Now I understand, right? Different energy. So if you're feeling a little bit stuck or feeling a little uncertain, feeling a little ungrounded or just feeling like you want more balance, any answers, you can always get out of your environment and it will 100% be the trick that you're looking for. So here we have the middle row and we have this energy of maybe a little bit of lack of connection to people that are in your life or people that you care about, maybe going through some social woes. And we just want to remind you that... Um, your relationships will flourish when you have a deeper connection to your true self. So whatever that three of swords in reverse is, is happening for us or showing up for us, uh, what this means is there's a separation from your higher self. And when you're separated from your higher self, when we have energies in our life that we don't connect with, it's not that that person is bad. It's just that you're, you're disconnected from your true self. So Taurus, it's going to be difficult for us to be able to read these other people. It's going to be difficult for us to understand what their needs are. When we don't understand something, we, have a, we produce a lot of fear and we produce a lot of worry. And this fear and worry starts to build and build and build. And there's no need. It just, there's, an under, there's a need to connect to your deeper self. So let's say you're looking to connect deeper to clients, connect deeper to people, right? The only practice you need to have for that is that higher self practice. And that really is just where you spend time with yourself and you connect to yourself um, in ways that are connecting you to your divine feminine as well as divine masculine. So again, um, something artistic, right? Artistic that opens up your creative imagination, right? You're kind of lost in this creative space as well as actually going and doing something, right? This could be even riding a bike, but as long as you are practicing creativity and action in your life, there is a nice synergistic harmony um, and, um, and, and everything will unfold. What we do see here is that because of this lack of connection with somebody in your life that's meaningful for you, maybe, you know, you want to go on vacation, you want to go out, but, but you know, you're, you don't have anyone to go with, or you feel like the people you want to go with, you're just not having a good time with right now. Just know that the intention alone of what you want will change. Um, but the reason why things are not the, the, what we see here is that there's a lot of, whenever we have energy in our life that doesn't feel, um, we want to be close with something or someone, but we are not. It ends up producing a void within ourselves because we're no we're noticing the lack. There's going back to that four cups. This four cups energy is very strong in this reading. So we're 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 again focusing on all the things that we think we are without. But if we focus on what we have the ability to build, that's when life changes. And so when we are have a, a lack of connection to somebody that we care about, we end up overdoing it in other areas. We take on more burdens. We take on more responsibilities than is necessary. And that needs to be an internal shift. The universe is saying, right? When we feel we are without, we take on more in our outer world, in our lives, right? So try to um, change the idea that you have to do more to be more, that's not the truth. As a matter of fact, the less you do, the more you're connected to yourself. The less you do, there's only a few things we have to do. That's why I like connecting to the Doberman energy because I know exactly it's more of like a structured system. It's like, I know I have to exercise 15 minutes a day. I know I have to meditate. I know I have to eat clean foods. I know I have to practice fasting. Like these are just things I know that I have to do for me to feel my best. And I've gone through the contrast of others. That's why I know that for sure, right? And that Doberman energy helps me connect. So again, if you can find something that helps you connect to your truth, right? Resonates with you. That's, that's kind of how we'll put things into place. But again, practice those positive affirmations because the name of the game is that there's not, there's the little things matter just as much as the big things. But a lot of the times we put so much emphasis on focusing on the big things that we miss the little things. And it's the little things that help our relationships. It's the little things that help us connect to ourselves. And it's the little things that help us release control. So 
right now, if what you want is travel, you want to maybe move with your family, you want to travel, you want to go and, and, and you want to have harmonious relationships, the name of the game is to remember that if you think you are without these things, you're going to effort and, and take on more responsibilities in your other areas of life. My relationship's failing. I need to make more money because if I make more money, then I can make them happy. Zero percent. That's the case. What will happen is you come together with your relationship and say, hey, let's do this thing together. Let's live this planet Earth game together. I'm pretty sure none of us incarnated here thinking we wanted to do it solo. Some, maybe, but for the most part, if we have a relationship and we desire a relationship, it's because we want to do it together, right? So you want to come together, unit up, and then from there, unit up with your kids, unit up with your spouses, unit up with your people, right? Come together, open your heart and say, life isn't worth it if we're not together. Figure that out, connect to that. And then from there, you decide what you want to do. That will release all your burdens. That will release all your worries, right? It's connect back to your people and then everything will make sense, right? I connect back to my husband, which connects me back to the Doberman energy and I'm, I'm in my place. You know what I mean? So connect back. It will help you. Now, the message that came through for you is to schedule with allowance and schedule with allowance mean understanding what you have to do in a day and fitting it all in balance is what you want to do is you want to write down what you love in your life. You want to write down what you've learned about yourself that you love. And you want to get the necessary things to, done in the, in the morning. And then you can allow fun to lead afterwards. For me, I know I have to wake up and exercise. 100%. I just practiced not doing it. And I was a wreck. I was emotional. I was, I was dense. I had no mental clarity. Everything was, it was not working. I had no connection. It just, I, I'm always connected, but you know, it doesn't feel like it. Um, so it just didn't work. So now I know I have to wake up and I have to move my body. Fast pace. Not slow, but fast. And after that, quick meditation, practice my visualization, and then I'm ready, right? I Then at that point, it's like I'm ready with myself. So that's my non-negotiables. I get that done first thing in the morning, right when I wake up, and then it's done for the day, right? So what are your non-negotiables? Have those done in the morning time. Get those out of the way. Um, but remember, everything has to amount to having um, the energy connections feel good in your life. So connect to those that are in your life. If you're having, a, if you're, if, if you're having a trouble with somebody in your life energetically, Connect to them first, right? Connect with them. Connect with yourself. Connect with them. And then you'll be releasing the responsibilities that you're taking on that are just unnecessary. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. If there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.